Have you ever read this book by Dr. Seuss? They handed it out to us at my high school graduation, and honestly, it's bullshit. The entire message of the book is that you can go out and do all these amazing things and, you know, you're gonna change the world, but realistically, that's not gonna happen for everybody. For example, I graduated with 31 kids at a tiny high school about a half hour away from Iowa City, and a lot of these kids haven't left our hometown yet. I'll never understand that mindset because my whole life, I wanted nothing more than to just get out of my hometown, get to college, have fun, make memories. I was just so excited to get to Iowa City. And now that I'm here, I absolutely love it, but I'm getting closer to graduating at the end of this semester. And I've started to regret not taking some of the opportunities that I've had here. Part of me feels like I wasted some of the chances I had to make lifelong memories here in this city that I've grown to love. And it feels like I just wasted some of my time in Iowa City. So to ease my mind about some of these regrets I'm having, I decided to talk to some of my closest friends, hoping they could remind me of some of our best times in Iowa City. My happiest memory would probably be rushing the field for uh, Kinnick Stadium during our Penn State game when we eventually ranked number two in football. That'd definitely be my number one. Why that memory? Just the feeling of Iowa sports being on top, and uh, I think the women's game as well also pushed for the number one spot there as well. Just the feeling of Iowa doing good was something I will cherish forever. <laughs> My happiest memories here are made up of just a lot of little moments from my freshman year living in the dorms. I was in Burge and I met my absolute best friends on my floor and it would just be us struggling with homework, struggling with the aftermaths of the horrible dining hall meals. We would play hours of board games, card games, lots of Mario Kart and just watch the dumbest shows together. And I feel like life was just simple back then. And there was never a dull moment. It was so much fun. I think my funniest memory would be when freshman year, I had appendicitis and I had to get drove on the back of my roommate's moped to the emergency room at 4.30 in the morning uh, and get that whole situated the weekend before finals as well to make the cherry on top. One of my funniest memories and one of the funniest moments caught on camera was during a football game when I decided I wanted to be lifted up for the Poncheros burrito raise moment during the football game first quarter. And I got a group of people to lift me up they weren't strong enough to lift me up, so they dropped me and concussed me. I think the video is hilarious. I will miss Iowa City so much when I graduate. It's just a great atmosphere to be in. The only thing I won't miss is the cold weather. Um, I'd miss it because, you know, there's just a lot of memories tied to this place and knowing where everything is and supporting our uh, athletes is something I really like to do here. This is like my second home, so I'm always gonna have memories and treasure Iowa City for the rest of my life. I'm from Denver, Colorado, and people are always like, Stella, why would you come to Iowa? What's in Iowa City that is so special? And I honestly think it's just everything about this city. I never want to graduate because I just love the people. I love the atmosphere and I love everything about it. So yes, I will be very, very sad when I graduate. Recording this video has helped me come to terms with the fact that college only lasts a few years for a reason. We're not supposed to get comfortable with writing 10 page papers or eating shitty dining hall food five days a week or getting hammered every weekend. If I was okay with that, that would make me no different than those people in my hometown who will never leave. And that's not what I want. So as my last few weeks in Iowa City wind down, 
I'm not going to dwell on what could have been. I'm not going to worry about what the future will be. I'm just going to live in the present. I'm going to make more memories, and I'm going to enjoy my time here while I have it.